Hi friends, so for today's social studies lesson, we will be talking about how do location and weather affect us. So the objective for today's lesson is students will be able to understand how location and weather affect, affect their daily life. And this is a standard that goes along with it. So before I get into the lesson, we're going to be doing something called a picture study. So I'm going to show you two pictures and I want you to look closely at them. This is kind of like how we do a picture talk in math or how we do which one doesn't belong. I want you to look at the pictures and think about what the weather is like in each picture or what are some things that give you that? Or what are some clues to tell you that? How do you know? So I'm gonna have and before we start today's lesson, we're going to start with a picture study. So this is kind of like a picture talk that we do in math or even which one doesn't belong. I'm going to show you two pictures and I want you to look closely at them. And as you're looking at them, I want you to think about what is the weather like in each picture and how do you know what gives you those clues. So I'm going to give you about 30 seconds to study the pictures and I'll have a timer with music in the background. So I'm going to show you the pictures and start my timer. All right, time is up. So I wish we could be able to share our answers together. But when I look at these pictures, I'm thinking maybe if we looked at this picture, you notice that there's, there's two kids and they're playing in the ocean at a beach. And I know when I go to the beach, that's when it's usually hot. So maybe you thought that the weather was very hot and very sunny. You can see that the sun is big and it's out in the sky. And then if we look at this picture, I see a man and his child, they're in the forest. And if I look at what they're wearing, they're wearing jeans, closed toed shoes, and jackets. So I'm thinking it's probably cold where they are. So this is something that you can do when you read a book on your own too. Look at the pictures and think about what's going on, and what, what are some things that give you clues about what's happening in your story. So after looking at these two pictures, now we're going to go into our lesson. We're going to start talking about how we live. A location is a place. Different locations have different environments. An environment, and notice how this is a highlighted word, it's a key vocabulary word for this lesson. So an environment is the nature that surrounds a living thing. Is your community near the ocean or mountains? Maybe it is near a forest or a desert. The environment also affects how people live. Food, clothes, homes, and transportation may be different in different places. And again, another highlighted vocabulary word, transportation is the way people move from place to place. So on this slide, I'm going to be talking about two different locations. And the first location is Northern California. So remember, California is the state that we live in. So this is all the way at the top of the state. Northern California has many green forests and mountains. People can go hiking or climbing. In the winter, they can snowboard or ski. 
And this is a, a picture of the redwood forest that is located in Northern California. And it's one of the many green forests we have. So another location is Southern California, which is where we live. Southern California has more desert areas. The beaches are warm and sunny. Even in the winter, people can swim or surf in the ocean. So the ocean's over here, here's the beach. Nice houses and trees. Weather and seasons. Weather is what the outside is like. It can be hot, cold, wet, or dry. The weather can change with the seasons. In the spring, the air is warm. Spring rain helps plants grow. In the summer, the weather is hot and sunny. The trees are full of green leaves. In the fall, the air is cool. The leaves turn yellow, orange, red, and brown. In winter, the weather is cold. Snow covers the ground. Trees and plants stop growing until spring. When the weather changes, you should change what you wear too. If it is hot, you can wear shorts and a t-shirt. If it is cold, you can wear pants and a coat. If it is rainy, you can wear a raincoat and boots. The weather can help you plan what you do. If it is warm and dry, you can swim or ride a bike. If it is cold and snowy, you can sled or build a snowman. Locations in one state can have different weather. Much of Northern California is cool and wet. Southern California is hot and dry. So again, even though Northern California and Southern California, it's the same state because they're in different locations, they have different weather and that affects what people do, what they wear, and how they travel around. So uh, now that you know more about how lo weather affects where we live and what we do, I have an activity for you. I want you to think about what is the weather like in your community? Remember, we live in Southern California. You live in the city of Los Angeles. So think about the weather. How does it change? Is it always the same? Does the weather change during different seasons? And after you think about that, what you're going to turn into me is our write about it. I would like for you to draw a picture of the weather in your community. So what is the weather like today? I know if we did this lesson last week, we all probably would have said it was rainy. And uh, when you draw a picture of the weather, I want you to include what people would wear and what they would do. So label your picture. Tell me what, ki what kind of weather is it? Is it sunny, cloudy, or raining, snowing? Just let me know. And you're going to turn this into your portfolio. This will go on to today's date and social studies. So that's where you can upload it. If you have any questions doing your assignment, your activity, please let me know. You can always send me a message on Class Dojo, and I will be happy to help. Can't wait to see all of your work. Bye.